Hmm. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> All right. On with the show. What's up, YouTube? This is Shadow Pony with another episode of the Brony Guide. Today, or rather tonight, we will be reviewing this. The Elements of Harmony Guidebook. Now, the first, the first thing that I want to say that I absolutely love about this is just the detail in the artwork. I mean, I am a very big fan of this. Yeah, of just this kind of artwork on books. I mean, I have other books in my in my collection that are detailed much like this. <clears throat> and it's not just on the cover here. It's also along the spine of the book and along the back as you can see. Now, on the inside of the front and back covers, we also have various quotes from the show. Uh, some of them famous, you know, some of them just random quotes. And once we get past this, we get into the basic storybook opening. You know, Once Upon a Time in the Magical Land of Equestria, yada yada yada. It's basically the same opening that we get in that we get in season one you know, rather generic and I, I really do like that they included this somewhat after that we finally get to the inside cover and yes it is the official guidebook on the inside we have the table of contents and unfortunately I cannot read upside down or else I would read this to you guys so after that we have a few words and introduction that are basically from well, they're basically from Jason Thiessen and Megan McCarthy on the inside we have yeah, various things from, well, we have an introduction from Lauren Faust. <clears throat> we have various chapters, you know, My Little Pony, and this entire chapter actually goes through the main six, Spike, Princess Celestia, Princess Luna, Princess Cadence, Shining Armor, various characters that we see throughout the show. And it also includes various well, various concept artworks and little facts that we didn't really that we don't really know and didn't really know about all the different characters so let's just flip through this again we get to the Cuny Mark Crusaders and again this goes through the complete bio of every pony that we see. We get into fellow equines and animals and animal friends, which goes from Zakora to well, basically Derpy and a lot of background ponies. And again, we get more artwork and little known facts about them. Uh, the dark side. <laughs> <clears throat> Obviously starting off with Nightmare Moon and continuing on to Discord and Trixie and even to various beasts and 
as before, we get little, you know, little known factoids and opinions from various people who work on the show about who potential villains could be. I'm not going to name names or anything. We also get into finer detail about the elements of harmony, which is, yeah, again, a little bit interesting. We also get a greater grasp of the world of Equestria, and we get to see it in finer detail, and once more, we actually get concept art and various quotes from creators of the show. Now, before I go any further, I just want to say that I absolutely, this is by far my favorite page in this entire book, is simply because of the detail that we get to see. Now, obviously, with flash animation, we can't see a lot of the finer details that actually go into the show. But with the storyboards such as this, we get to see the extreme details. Yeah, everything from, well, the weeping willows and, yeah, the weeping willows, the fine mist of the clouds, and even here in the finer details of Fluttershy's Cottage and Sugar Cube Corners, we don't get to see a lot of that in the show. So... There's that. We also get an exclusive interview with Lauren Faust. So some questions that are either really popular or have never been answered get answered in this section. So again, just flipping through this. Now one thing that I do not like about this book is actually this chapter and the chapter that follows it which is well yeah this chapter the chronicles of friendship and uh, hold on and chapter 9 the musical yeah the musical ponies well the musical pony now the reason why I don't like these two is rather simple just look at the thickness that these two bring up. This is about, well, the book in, a, in and of itself is about 250 pages. This is a good portion of the book. I mean, all this is really what fans want right here. Just this small section here. So this makes up the a majority of the book. Now, what is the Chronicles of Friendship? Well, it's actually just as it sounds. It is the Chronicles of Friendship. It is every single episode from seasons one through th to three. Now, I wouldn't mind a lot of this. I wouldn't, no, I would actually like this, and I know a lot of other fans would really like this if it continued on with what we saw in previous chapters. It had exclusive little storyboards, you know, facts that we didn't know, you know, quotes from the creators of the show, and quotes from you know, different little people, and again, facts. But all it really includes is just a basic synapse, synapse of every episode and just the friendship report. And some of them make sense, some of them are just too outrageous to believe that that's what actually is the friendship report. So there's that. Now, I don't... Well, I like Musical Pony a little bit better than the Chronicles of Friendship, simply because you know, I finally get the words to some of my favorite songs. But, it's even less detailed than the Chronicles of Friendship. 
Yeah, it's just the words to every single song. And that's it. But, it sort of makes up for it a little bit towards the end here in the Friendship Fanatics, which is what we can, which is what we would basically be considered to be. So, and it just basically explains how, you know, My Little Pony has just exploded in popularity and has even reached out to other generations and, you know, just people that they didn't think were going to be fans, aka the bronies and whatnot. Now there is one thing that I want to show you guys before I sign off, and it's actually here. I found this rather disappointing, but not too surprising. It's that little gray mare, right there. And I'm going to see if I can zoom in on her. Yep. We all know who that is. That's Derby. Or did he do? You know, whichever you prefer. It doesn't really matter to me. But she is in here as sort of a little sliver of a shout out. But she doesn't get a name, she doesn't get a bio, she doesn't really get anything. She's up in a corner, sleeping with her eyes, you know, sleeping. Eyes closed, no name, nothing complete censorship and for those of us who watch the show we know why another thing that I don't particular I'm not particularly a big fan of is this guy now for those of you who can't read backwards that's actually that actually says muscle pony getting real creative with the name there uh, I actually prefer the name that we gave that we gave this pony, which is Horsepower. Yeah, makes a lot more sense and actually just suits him better. So there's that. But other than that, there is a lot to this book. I mean, it's like I read through a lot of the really interesting stuff, and it is extremely interesting. Uh, you can skip the Friendship Report or the Chron yeah the Friendship Chron Chronicles. I'm sorry. Now, on Amazon, this book could cost you about eighteen dollars, and it's understandable. It's a hardcover. It's two hundred fifty pages, even though it really shouldn't be 250 pages but I guess Hasbro just added in the Friendship Chronicles and the Musical Pony chapters because they wanted to bring it up to the $20 mark which is understandable they gotta make money off of this but you can get this for much cheaper I personally picked I personally picked up my own this copy my own copy at my local Walmart for about eleven dollars you know forty percent off which is an extremely good deal and I also got an additional ten percent off of that because I work there and I'm, I'm an employee so that brought down the price to ten dollars so if you see this book at your local Walmart you can pick it up for that price. I'm not sure what it is in the US, but yeah, that is an extremely good price. And like I said, it is an interesting read. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here that I didn't know about and you know, just some really cool stuff. I really again, I really love the detail not only in the cover but also well, also in the storyboards, and just, again, just the little facts that I didn't know about the various characters, and where they came from, and what their original role was going to be. So, that said, I do recommend that 
well, any serious collector of My Little Pony, get this book. So, with that, I am going to be signing off. And until next time, this is Shadow Pony, signing out.